I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. That's right. His name is Trevor. And he is a psychopath. You don't want to deal with him. This is called Hang 10. And Trevor returns to Floyd's apartment to find out Deborah has returned. And, well, the altercation doesn't work out well. And Trevor is forced to relocate. I'll let this play through. Then at the end, I will show you what happens when Trevor returns to the apartment after he has acquired the velvet unicorn and done a few other missions. So let's get on with this. Hang 10. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Well, you can see Trevor got the best of that argument, and now he has to talk to Wade and, well, explain that they are, how shall we say, relocating. And he also has to explain away that uh, red stuff on his shirt and pants and etc. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward through it, and Trevor goes to the Velvet Unicorn. actually vanilla unicorn and i'm gonna have to talk over this because there is music and i could get gigged by it from youtube it's an unconventional place to live trevor goes to speak to the manager this is relatively tame compared to what you can see during the game play though this is really nice i digress but now Trevor goes and talks to the manager, and we all know what happens to the manager in this situation, which is sad, but I digress. Trevor is a psychopath, and, well, I'm not going to spoil it. Play the game. We end up cutting back to Michael eventually, 
and you can drive around as Michael and do stuff, which I will do, but that's the end of this video, and I'll show you what happens when Trevor returns to the apartment. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave an icon. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be informed when I post more videos. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Trevor returns to the Vespucci Beach apartment of Floyd and Deborah, where we find, oh, come on, we find crime scene tape. And he can't even open the door. He can't kick it open. He can't open it with a key. He can't do anything. This is a crime scene, and it's locked out. As you can tell, I'm trying to kick the door in. It's not working, but whatever. That is it. You can do nothing. And if you come with any other characters or you shoot the door, you get the police. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.